Shalom. Shalom. This is Nathaniel from the Holland Camp, first and foremost. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakudash, Double On City Apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that teach and rule well, among many other things. And peace of citations to the elect that are scattered abroad in four winds of the earth, out there in the highways of hedges, and pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right, so as you can see here, <clears throat> I'm going to leave a link below. You know, concerning this video, all right, a lot of things are going on, and these are examples of what's to come throughout the earth, man. All right, a lot of things is getting worse. There's a lot of crimes being committed right now, and people don't care because they're doing it out there in broad daylight. As you can see here, San Francisco has fallen, okay, and <laughs> people are breaking in the cars to sleep breaking in the car seeing any bags or anything like that you know um let's see uh you know robbing people and much more <laughs> you see this America, known as Babylon, Babylon the Great, is falling, man. Let's see, look at this fucking demon. You know? <laughs> this, 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 is, this is beautiful to see because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is falling, man. His whole infrastructure is crumbling. All right? And it's due to his their own people, these so-called elites, which are the so-called leaders uh, that are leading them today. They even throwing their own people under the bus, man. This whole system that they got set up with the... Get out of here. What is this? Yo. Yo. My phone is tripping. Anyways. This is another video I'm watching from the elder. From uh, the Dallas camp. You know, beautiful brother. You know. Uh, let's see. What was that? Um... Yeah, right here. Right you know, as you can see, this woman in San Francisco wants outside, went outside to find a homeless person sleeping in her car. You know, this whole infrastructure is falling apart, man. Oh, baby, he's doing it. He's doing it to the food. Look at that. Wow. You know. The man recording here spotted a drug deal going on outside of his house. Okay. And it's going to get worse and worse. You know, America is falling, man. Okay. It is falling. And this is this is biblical prophecy that is going on right now. Okay. For, for example, you got right here breaking. It's happening. Long bank lines already Monday morning. Important FDIC meeting, the real GS news. All right. <clears throat> it says here, you do realize that the Federal Reserve System just completed the testing of a central bank digital currency around the world. The test had 5,000 completed blockchain transaction transactions. All of the transactions were completed flawlessly. They completely fit the timeline. All right, because we in the end times, okay? And Esau is setting up the stage. The stage is already set, okay? Because through his laws and his legislations, right? Uh, he is, uh, you know, through his craft. Let me grab this really quick. Uh, he's causing many to fall, man, okay? Which is leading up to what I'm going to go into. Uh, just a quick video, you know, concerning the times that we're in. Uh, let's see, this is Psalms 144, verse 8, and it reads, Whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is the right hand of falsehood, because, you know, he's going out throughout the earth with his tongue, okay, uh, causing many people to fall, because what he does, he, he, he speaks lies, deceit, okay, that's why the scriptures call this man the devil. Okay, you know, and the word devil comes from a dia uh, the word Latin word Diablo, which means uh, 
and the Dutch priest say you misled, uh, uh, you know, misleading, a liar, a, a deceiver, um, a false accuser. Okay, so you know, his right hand is his right hand of falsehood because what he what he's doing is he's deceiving the people, thinking that what's going on in society today is for the benefit of humanity, which is all which is as backwards because as you can see in that video that I showed. All right, these are examples of what's going on in the earth. Okay, there's long lines of people. Let me see. Uh... All right, guys, so you know, I'm not going to play. You know, people have got a seal of the most high, but not according to knowledge, right? So right here, you can see, you know, there's videos on online with people, you know, at the banks. <clears throat> long lines waiting to get their money now this is going to cause a lot more people okay this is in la if i'm not mistaken all right in la okay that there's long lines of people waiting to get some money and that's going to cause a lot of people to get angry and to revolt okay and esau is causing this to happen purposely Okay, to justify what he's going to do later on. Okay, because it's going to cause a lot of people to rise up. Okay, and to cause mayhem, destruction. Okay, lawlessness. All right, and that's what he's going to do to justify why he's going to bring in martial law. Okay, right now we are seeing, as it talks about in uh, Matthew 24, and I believe it was verse 12, and it reads. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Okay? That's what we see going on right now. All right? And it's not only San Francisco that these things are occurring, but it's throughout America. It's also happening over here. You got mass amounts of scammers. All right? Um, and, 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 the, and the crime, the iniquity is just abounding, you know? And many, you know, many people, you know, as they say, you know, uh, love one another that shit is waxing cold it's being is being killed man all right as we are getting closer and closer to the end of esau's kingdom all right and and it's and it's evident that we are in these times as it talks about in second timothy chapter 3 verse 1 and it reads this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come and it's that's exactly what you see going on right now perilous times people are robbing and looting brought in broad daylight okay of course, you know, here in, in Europe, it's not as bad as America. America is a whole nother level, okay? America was funded upon the blood of our people, okay? Uh, which it talks about here in, um, what is it, Second Timothy uh, 2 and 12. No, Habakkuk 2 and 12, let me see. And it reads, Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. And woe is synonymous to destruction, but meaning mourning and lamentation. Okay, because this the, the country, uh, you know, has been established by what? By blood, man. They built cities and cities upon the blood of our people, our, our ancestors, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And establish a city by iniquity, you see. So this 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 uh, this country you call America, which the word America goes into bitter, okay, has been built by what? By blood man okay and established by what by iniquity so as you can see now uh, the end of of it all the because iniquity shall abound the the whack the, the, the love of this world is waxing cold okay a lot of people you know they're going into their old ancient spirit you know as you can see Esau being a damn devil that he is upon his earth acting like you know he's you know a righteous man a fair uh, uh, law-abiding citizen which he is far from that and he's starting to show his true colors through all his laws and legislations that he has set up and eventually he's going to make this whole system crash which is going to lead to a civil war okay because it's been written man you know and this shows you that let me see in second Ezra chapter 9 verse 1 and it reads he answered me then said and said, measure thou the times diligently in itself. So we measure times diligently in itself. Why? Because the Lord said he's going to come as a thief in the night. 
okay? So as a watchman, we are watching and we are measuring the times diligently by what? These uh, articles, these news articles that are going on throughout the whole four corners of the earth, man. Okay, the Heavenly Father has set up his servants, the prophets, okay, which the word prophet goes into prophesying. And to prophesy, pro meaning before, phasi meaning to say. So we say before it happens, and we have been doing that, you know, starting with the elder apostles through the spirit and the power of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You know, they've been in, in this in this thing of ours for, for what, 40 years now? Okay? Being consistent, man. Bringing out the word of the Heavenly Father. And, and you see it going on right now. Things are coming to pass, man. This is how we know we're at the end of this. This is how we know because, you know, it says in 2 Timothy, Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, it says, you know, that in the last days there shall be perilous times. So this is how we measure the times still as you know yourself by seeing what's going on on a global scale, man, and reporting it, man. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and that's what we see going on constantly, getting worse and worse. Okay, it's not getting any better at all. And it's becoming more and more violent. All right, which is going to go into Second Second Ezra chapter fifteen. You know, you can start on verse fourteen, and you read on down. All right, you're gonna have people with swords in their hands fighting one another, man. Okay. Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. You see, because these these scriptures have been written. A far time for what? For our learning, you know, do do things will happen in the past and there's no new thing under the sun. Okay, that's how we measure the times diligently in itself, because you know, we see it happening. Okay. This is uh Matthew chapter twenty four, verse thirty three, and it reads So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, right? Know that it is near, even at the doors. So now people, you know, because they want to be rebellious, they want to continue um, being up, uh, up this world, okay, which you got to understand, our people, the majority of our people have been blinded. So like that female that came out, which was a Jake female, big loudmouth bitch, okay, she had a fucking uh, bum, Edomite, Pretty much sleeping in her car, trashing her car up, man. She don't understand it. Why? Because she's rebellious, man. The, the most, the most high, the heavenly Father Yahweh, who the alien called God, has spoken of these things for a time for what? For us to understand the times that we're in. Okay, so the fact that we see these things, just know that it's it's going to get a lot worse. Okay, why? Because we're in the beginning of sorrows. Okay, we, right now great pains is come. Uh, uh, how would I say better? Uh, what does it say here? It's like Ezra's chapter 16, verse. Um, let me read this real quick. This is Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 36. Behold, the world, oh, behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. Okay? As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three uh, three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and the sorrows shall come upon it on every side. So, we in the uh, uh, the beginning stages of what the Heavenly Father is about to do. He's about to unleash hell upon this earth. And we are seeing bits and pieces happening. And it's becoming more and more evident that the Heavenly Father is about to bring de uh, uh, a, a great uh, time of what devastation, destruction, uh, mourning, lamentation, death upon this earth. Okay, because when this whole society crumbles, 
you know, in that other article, which was a video, it was a short little article, but more of the video of this guy, you know, proclaiming to know the word of the Heavenly Father, which, you know, the Heavenly Father put the Spirit on these people to do these things, okay? But the thing is, they, you know, they don't have the 100% truth, okay? Why? Because, you know, our people are rebellious, man, okay? So it says here, um, even uh, so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the word, and the world shall mourn, and the sorrow shall come upon it on every side. So great pains is about to be. Uh, right now we're in the beginning where, uh, as it says here, uh, great pains come past her womb, and we are, right now at the point where, these pains are showing in the earth, man. Okay, there there is no there's no real thing about peace, man. Everything that's going on right now has been uh, tampered, tampered with, destroyed, okay? And it's, and it's for a good reason. Why? Because this whole society that's been built upon this earth is built upon wickedness, man, and unrighteous decrees. And that's why you see the people standing up and, and fighting against it. But the thing is, they don't understand that the Heavenly Father, all right, has a whole stage set, okay? Just like in the time of Noah, you know, they're more worried about eating and drinking and getting uh, getting married than understanding the times that they're in. And they're going to be swept away, but not by uh, by water this time, but by fire, man. Okay, as the Lord has promised. Um, what was I going to... Okay, this is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, and it, and it reads, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but the end... It, it's like, it, but at the end... It shall speak, okay? So all these visions, which goes into prophecy, because that's what a, prof, uh, a prophet does, you know, back in the days, they were also called uh, seers. Why? Because they would see visions, okay? And these visions have been written in the scriptures. Why? Because they are faithful and true, okay? They are there for guidance onto our people concerning the times that we're in to, to know what's going to happen and see the heavenly father is fair man he will let you know things before it happens all right all right so it says here for the vision is yet for an appointed time but the end it shall speak and these prophecies are speaking man all right and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come all right so it says Though it tarried, though it's taken some time, wait for it. And that's what we have been doing. And, and and the thing is, it goes into patience. Okay? Patience is, you know, uh, you have to suffer. You know, for example, you know, it, it, uh, you, if you if you really want something, right? You order something online, and but it takes a month. You have to wait for it. So in that time, you, you really want something, you, you, you earn for it. You, you know, you, you're, you're suffering until you have received that item that you have worked for. Okay? And that's the same thing that we have to understand. Because these prophecies are speaking right now, man. And there's going to be a point where the prophets are not going to speak anymore. Why? Because the, the actual prophecies that are going to come, the plagues that are going to be sent forth, the sword, which is the modern day weapon, Famine, which is the lack of bread and water, okay, which people are going to starve to death, okay, pestilence, which are deadly viruses upon this earth, okay, people, people are going to be at a point where <laughs> these these prophets, okay, that have been sent forth throughout the four corners of earth, don't are not going to speak anymore, okay, why? Because these prophecies are going to speak, okay, because as it says here, in Amos. Let me see. Amos 5 and, and, and 13, it reads, Therefore the prudent shall keep silent. Let me read it again. Therefore the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time, you see. And a prudent, the word prudent, uh, goes into a man that looketh well to his goings. Okay? Looketh well to what's going to happen in the, in the future. Okay? So going back in the Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, oh shoot, yeah, it reads, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And these prophecies are coming to pass, and they're not lying at all. 
Okay, though it tarry, though it's taken some time, wait for it, right? Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Because you got to understand that right now we are seeing a uh, it, it, a what? How, how would I say it in a better way? We are seeing this whole infrastructure about to collapse. It's like watching the twin towers, man. Okay. Is burning is what you know and then it finally collapsed that's what we are about to see in this economy man just like the twin towers man okay this whole house that's been set up upon this earth is about to collapse man and the people within it are going to go down with it man and that's why we are telling you so-called negroes latinos and native americans Okay, which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. And even onto you speckled birds, the Israelite foreign is a look of these other nations. You may look like a so-called white man, a Chinese or Japanese or uh, Arab or so on and so on, all these other different nations. You may look of those other nations, but if your forefather goes back to one of the men that I spoke upon, you are a Hebrew Israelite, man. This is concerning you, man. You know, this is a time of repentance. This is a, a grace period where you have given... You are given an opportunity to repent, man, and truly come back to the Heavenly Father with a contrite spirit, man, a contrite heart, man, you know, for all the mistakes and things that we have done wrong, okay, and hope that the Heavenly Father shall have mercy upon us, that he will hide us in the time of his wrath, because it will not tarry, man, meaning it's not going to wait for no man when, you know, just like I read in Second uh, Ezra chapter 16 that, you know, when that ninth month cometh, you know, that when that baby comes, there's no turning back, man. And Heavenly Father wants a, a person to repent in a time when, when you know you're doing wrong, man. Not bucking up and fighting against the Heavenly Father in His Son's name. Okay, which... Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's name. It's not God, okay? God is a title, meaning power, okay? His, his real name is Yahweh, meaning He is, He exists, okay? And in, uh, in His Son's name, which who you ignorantly call Jesus, the letter J never existed before, okay? And He has a Hebrew name, which His real name is Yahweh Shai, okay? He the Deliverer. That's what these names mean, okay? And what he's going to do, he's going to deliver the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. That's that's what he did. He sacrificed himself for the nation of Israel, man. That's why we have to get back, do what, do what we can to get right, man, and hope that we're going to have mercy when wrath cometh upon this earth, man. All right, so with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakakwadash, Double Honor City Apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that teach and rule well, among many other things. Shalom.